Now that we have an understanding about how musical revolutionaries, such as Pierre Schaeffer, began to treat sound as a musical material in the middle of last century, let's consider the modern context and how digital sampling and controllers have changed the way we perform. I'm here today with Sebastian Tomchak. Seb, the way in which devices work with sound and use of controllers has fundamentally changed the way we work with audio. How is that? So the way that we work with audio has changed in that we now have digital sampling and control interfaces. Digital sampling allows us to store audio in a device's memory, whether that's a computer or a hardware sampler, and we can then use something like a keyboard or a controller to then play back and manipulate those samples. So what we had previously was individuals working with magnetic tape, vinyl, transmitted signals. Uh, there's not a high degree of accuracy with that, but now with digital sampling, we've essentially got surgical precision right down to the sample level, and we can manipulate it at such a fine degree. And I guess what I think is that the timbre of the sound now becomes, I guess, more exposed, more able to be manipulated. How is that? So it's important to note that we can change the timbre of the sound to a higher degree from both subtle shifts up to very dramatic changes, all in real time. We now have digital sampling technologies that we can use to manipulate sound to a high degree of accuracy using an astounding number of processes. Aside from digital sampling, computer software and computer controls have had a profound effect, haven't they? That's right. So computers have increased both the performability and the diversity of the samples that have been used um, as they've connected digital audio workstations with controllers so that we can use musical controllers to control software instruments and plugins and so on. And of course, software and controllers really started as conventional implementations or emulations of mixing desks and keyboards. But over time, they became more specialised to an extent where they were really thought of as their own kind of musical instruments, weren't they? That's right. So let's take the digital audio workstation Live as an example. So Live started out as a sort of performance and sequencing music software. And then the push was added. The push is a music controller where many of the functions are highly specialised for performance, specifically when used with live. In essence, it's like having a limitless number of samplers and effect racks right at your fingertips.